In 2003, I was planting my 124 germinated cacao seeds into flower pots. All was growing fast and becomes too large after two years. In case of avoiding landslides it's important to plant trees all over the Philippines. I brought 100 cacao trees from my garden, in Cebu City, to the area of the main volcano. An important ingredient, used to make chocolate, does grow on trees, the cacao bean. These valuable beans grow inside of large pods that sprout from the trunk of a large tree, the Fiabroma cacao. Over 1 million tons of cocoa beans are harvested every year. The evergreen cacao tree grows 15 to 25 feet primarily between latitudes 15 degree north to 15 degree south, usually below 1,000 feet in altitude, and in areas with a monthly average rainfall of about 4 inches. Various cultivars, propagated by seed, are grown. The oblong or oval fruit, commonly called a pod, is 4 to 12 inches long, and green when immature, but may be yellow, red, purple, or green when ripe. It contains a from 20 to 60 reddish-brown beans 3 fourth to 1 half by 1 half to 1 inch in size, usually arranged in 5 rows. Pods are produced throughout the year, but the main harvest usually begins at the end of the wet season and may extend for 3 months. From 7 to 14 pods will produce a pound of dry beans. The cacao flowers arise in groups directly from old wood of the main stem or older branches at points which were originally leaf axles. Each flower has five prominent pink sepals, five smaller yellowish petals, each of which forms a pouch, an outer whorl of five staminodes, and an inner whorl of five double stamens, each stamen bearing up to four anthers. The staminodes are about as tall to twice as tall as the upright style and form a fence around the style. The stamens are curled so that the anthers develop inside the petal pouches. The ovary consists of five united carpels each having four to twelve locules, and one style that has several linear stigmatic lobes, Van Hall 1932. According to Cheeseman, 1932, and Urquhart, 1961, the flower produces no nectar and has no discernible scent. However, Stevskull, 1969, stated that there are two types of microscopic nectaries, one, the cylindrical multicellular ones, 60 to 450 microns in size, on the pedicels, sepals, and ovaries, and, two, the conical unicellular ones 20 to 25 microns in size, located on the guidelines of the petals and on the staminodia. He showed that they secrete nectar, which has an odor that attracts male mosquitoes and Lepidopterous insects. The flower opens about dawn, and the anthers dehisce just before sunrise. The stigma is usually pollinated two to three hours later but is receptive from sunrise to sunset of the day of opening, Cheeseman 1932. The stigma is receptive to pollen along its whole length, and not merely at the apex, as in most flowers. If the flower is not pollinated, it usually sheds the following day, Sumner 1962. Pollination before noon is best, Chats 1953.